Hello everyone, welcome back to Nomo Studio. So in this video, ay magkakalculate naman po tayo ng rate. Sa part 1 po kasi ng video na ito, we've focused on percentage calculation. At sa part 2 naman, nag-focus lang tayo sa base calculation. So ngayon naman, rate calculation na. Pero mas maganda po sana if mapanood nyo muna ang part 1 and part 2 of this video for you to have an additional idea kung ano nga ba ang relationship ng tatlong ito. Percentage, Base, and Rate To calculate the rate, we have to divide percentage by base. Okay, so let's take a look at our first example. What percent of 50 is 12.5? Paano naman po natin malalaman na rate yung hinahanap? What percent? Kapag nakakita po kayo sa isang question, na what percent, ibig sabihin po niyan, rate ang hinahanap natin. So now, let's assume na yung missing rate or yung hinahanap natin is N. By the way, kahit na anong letters ang gamitin niyo okay lang kasi variable lang din naman yan. So ang gagamitin ko na ngayon is N, hindi ko na gagamitin si X kasi nga nakakasawa na. Ngayon, balik na po tayo sa ating problem. What percent? So ito yung hinahanap or tinatanong sa atin, so, ito yung N. Of, kapag nakakita ng of, ibig sabihin, multiplication. So, N times 50 is, kapag is naman, ibig sabihin, equal. So, N times 50, which is equal to 12.5. N times 50, that is also 50N and equal to 12.5. To solve for the value of n, let's divide 50 on both sides. Divided by 50, divided by 50. So our n is equal to 12.5 divided by 50. Now, the tricky part here is that a decimal divided by a whole number. So medyo matatagalan talaga tayo kung mag-manual calculate pa. Ano kaya ang nararapat gawin to make it short? Ang gawin nyo lang po is ganito. Itong si divisor na 50, lagyan lang po natin ng over 100. Kumbaga ang mangyayari na is ganito. 12.5 divided by 50 over 100. So ngayon, when we divide a whole number by a fraction, ang mangyayari po dito is ganito. Just copy the numerator, and instead of division, magiging multiplication na, and get the reciprocal of this fraction. So this will become 12.5 multiplied by 100 divided by 50. Dito pa lang, pwede na nating ma-simplify ito. 100 divided by 50, and that is equal to 2. So, 12.5 times 2, and that is equal to 25. Therefore, it's 25%. Ang ibig sabihin lamang po nito, na si 12.5 pala, is just the 25% of 50. So, I hope klaro po yan. And now, let's take a look at another example for us to intake deeper. What percent of 500? is 35. Try to pause the video if you'd like to practice. Ano po ang sagot mo dito? Again, let's assume na yung hinahanap po natin is N or ito yung missing rate. N times 500 which is equal to 35. So we have N times 500 and that is 500N equal to 35. So to solve for the value of n, let's divide 500 on both sides. Divided by 500, divided by 500. So our n is equal to 35 divided by 500. And again, lagyan lang po natin ng 100 ang divisor na si 500. So this will become n is equal to 35 divided by 500 over 100. So, ngayon, when we divide a whole number by a fraction, ang mangyayari po dito is ganito. 
just copy the numerator and instead of division, magiging multiplication na and get the reciprocal of this fraction. So this will become n is equal to 35 times 100 over 500. So kinapi lang po natin itong numerator, then nagmultiply na tayo at kinuha natin ang reciprocal nito. Or in short, pinagbaliktad natin ng pwesto ang 500 and 100. So, kunin po muna natin ang simplest form ng fraction na ito para hindi na humaba pa ang ating solution. So, 100 divided by 100, and that is equal to 1. 500 divided by 100, and that is equal to 5. Therefore, the simplest form of this fraction is 1 fifth. So now we have n is equal to 35 times 1 fifth. So we have 35 times 1 and that is equal to 35 divided by 5 and that is equal to 7. Therefore the answer is 7%. Ang ibig sabihin lamang po nito na si 35 is just the 7% of 500. So let's have another example. What percent of 1,500 is 225? So we have N times 1,500 equal to 225. So we have 1,500 N equal to 225. Divided by 1,500. Divided by 1,500. And our N is equal to 225 divided by 1,500. And again, yung technique po natin is lagyan ng over 100 yung ating divisor. So this will become N is equal to 225 divided by 1,500 over 100. Our N is equal to 225 times the reciprocal of this, 100 over 1,500. At ngayon, kunin naman po natin ang lowest term ng fraction na ito. So, tanggalin na lang po natin ang mga zeros na yan. So, this will become n is equal to 225 times 1 over 15. 225 times 1 divided by 15 and that is equal to 15. Therefore, the answer is 15%. At nangangahulugan lamang po ito na yung 225 is just the 15% of 1,500. And that's all for this video and I hope you've learned something new today. But before we end this video, let us test our understanding. At huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.